Hi everyone, hope you all doing well. Welcome back to our channel and in this video I'm going to discuss about CVEs or how are vulnerabilities defined. If you're watching the series from the beginning in the last video we have discussed about vulnerability management, the six stage process which can help you improve the overall security posture of your enterprise and in this video we are going to discuss about what are CVEs, why CVEs are standardized, how CVEs are defined, resources you should refer to read more about CVEs. Let's begin. When we talk about security products available all across the globe and I have to name leaders, we have Microsoft, Symantec, McAfee and CrowdStrike. Now there are many other security vendors as well, but I am listing these to create a hypothetical example. All these vendors offer different security solutions for all the digital states. Likewise, identity, endpoint or network. But let's assume that I have a security solution from all these vendors and the purpose is endpoint vulnerability management. In this case, as soon as I onboard one of my endpoint to these security solutions, these solutions will start highlighting all the vulnerabilities that exist in this endpoint. But what we have to understand that if the endpoint has Windows 10, which is a Microsoft product, how come these three other vendors know about the vulnerabilities that exist in Windows 10? Similarly, if I have an Oracle application installed on this endpoint, all these security solutions will start highlighting the vulnerabilities that exist for a specific build or a version of Oracle application. But again, the question remains the same. How come these four vendors know about the vulnerabilities that exist in Oracle product or application? Now, this can only be possible if either all these vendors share the details of publicly known vulnerabilities of their own products with each other respectively or there is a standard which is followed by all these vendors to list and define the vulnerabilities that exist. The second statement makes a lot more sense and that is exactly what happens. There is a central repository which has the list of all the publicly exposed vulnerabilities found in different products and reported by these vendors. And the list is termed as CVE which stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. Now this method of defining vulnerabilities has been standardized by MITRE and the link which you can navigate to check all the details is cve.mitre.org. Let me show you all this in action and then things will make a lot more sense. So now what you see is one of my browser where I have signed in to cve.mitre.org and I can just click on search CVE list and I can type a platform name. Let's say I want to know all the vulnerabilities that exist for Windows as a platform. And as you can see, it is listing down all the vulnerabilities that exist. Now, if I want to click on any one of them, I will get more details in terms of what is a brief description about the vulnerabilities which were found and then a vendor specific article or link that lists down all the details that does include CVSS score, what were the metrics that were calculated and what are the impact. This is a very common practice that is same across all the vendors. Now what do I mean by this that I've shown you an example of windows wherein we were getting redirected to MSRC portal. Similarly, let's say if you type here Oracle or any other name of uh, you know any other product or any other vendor, you'll get the vendor specific information. So let's say if I search for Oracle, then I'm getting all the vulnerabilities that have been reported for Oracle. Okay. Now let's say if I click on any of these and then again, you'll see a similar description and a vendor specific link here you can see it is going to oracle.com and then a specific subset of security alerts so this is all the information that you can refer to for a specific vulnerability altogether now there is one more aspect of cve and that is the naming convention cve you already know this stands for common vulnerabilities and exposure then the year when this vulnerability was actually reported or the documentation was made publicly available and then this is a number which is actually defined by CNA, which is termed as CVE numbering authority. Okay, so this is a naming convention which is used for CVE, CVE common vulnerabilities and exposure, the year when it has been published and the number which is generated by CVE numbering authority. 
So that was all about knowing how CVEs work. Let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this video. We have discussed about CVEs, resources that you should refer to in terms of reading the documentation regarding CVE, which is cve.mitre.org. The most relevant documentation will be available on this portal because it has been standardized. Okay. In the next video, we are going to talk about CVSS or how the vulnerability measurement process work. Now, if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.